In this video, let us uh, continue solving more problems based on trigonometric ratios of compound angles. But before going to a problem, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to use a formula that we haven't used till now. But of course, you know, I've introduced that formula to you in one of the introduction videos in the previous videos. So here I'm just going to you know, recall it for you. So the formulas are these. So here are those formulas, uh, sine of a plus b times sine of a minus b equals sine square a minus sine square b. And similarly, cos a plus b times cos a minus b equals cos square a minus sine square b. Well, uh, this these are the two formulas that you have to concentrate on remembering. Until now, I mean, we haven't used this, so this is a new thing. So you need to... You know, know this to quickly solve more problems based on uh, these kind of, you know, the trigonometric ratios of compound angles. So let's start with a problem. All right, here we have it. The problem, it says, uh, prove that tan of a plus b divided by cot of a minus b equals sine square a minus sine square b divided by cos square a minus sine square b. So what we have to do is prove that this is equal to this. So now before going to that, let's quickly, you know, check out this thing. Tan of A plus B can be written as, you know what it is, right? You, you can write it as sine by cos. So it's going to be sine of A plus B divided by cos of A plus B. And similarly, cot of A minus B can be written as cos first. So cos of A minus B divided by sine of A minus B. So now that we've got this, let's see how do we use these expressions to get this uh, proof right, all right? It's going to be, just substitute these in these places. So it's going to be sine of A plus B divided by cos of A plus B in the place of tan A plus B. Now it's going to be divided by this fraction, right? So let me straight away write it as multiplication of the reciprocal of this. So it'll be sine of A minus B divided by cos of a minus b and we just did a formula here sine of a plus b into sine of a minus b is sine square a minus sine square b sine of a plus b into sine of a minus b is sine square a minus sine square b and cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b is cos square a here it is cos a plus b cos a minus b so that is cos square a minus sine squared b and that's exactly what we wanted and therefore we proved it so that's all it is a pretty simple problem all you had to do was just substitute the formula that was already there for you nothing new about it nothing complicated about it all right so let's quickly solve another problem before we end this video so here we have another problem which says uh, prove that cos squared 2x minus uh, cos square 6x equals sine 4x times sine 8x. So now, if you see, we've got cos square 2x and minus cos square 6x, right? But we need to convert this to sine. So now, if you remember, there was this identity, sine square x plus cos square x. Basically, sine square any angle plus cos square any angle equals 1, right? You've got cos square some angle. You can write that in terms of uh, sine as 1 minus sine square x. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. So cos square 2x will become 1 minus sine square 2x minus of cos square 6x is going to become 1 minus sine square 6x. Right? So here we have it. So now we just have to expand it. So 1 minus, open the brackets, 1 minus sine square 2x minus 1 plus sine square 6x. The 1 and the negative 1 gets cancelled. Now what we are left with is sine square 6x minus sine square 2x, which can be written as, you know, this is, again, it links to the formula that we just did in the previous problem in the same video. Let me rewrite that for you. So here it is sine square a minus sine square b equals sine of a plus b 
times sine of a minus b. That's what it uh, equals to, right? So here we've got it sine square 6x minus sine square 2x. So what's it going to be equal to? It's going to be equal to sine of 6x plus 2x times sine of 6x minus 2x. So sine of 6x plus 2x is sine of 8x. Sine of 6x minus 2x is sine of 4x. And here we've got it, RHS. So that's exactly what we wanted here. Sine 4x and sine 8x. Well, AB is the same as B, right? So that's exactly what it is here. So here it is, uh, sine 8x times sine 4x. Very simple one. Again, um, what it goes to show is uh, it depends on how well you remember the formula, this one. So similarly, before I conclude this problem and video, let me also recall that second formula, which is cos square a minus sine square b equal to cos of a plus b times cos of a minus b. All right, so that ends this problem as well as this video. Uh, before I end it, I'd like to suggest you to get familiarized with this formula as soon as possible. Thank you.